Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. So let's talk about recompiling a Linux kernel. So the kernel is basically the heart of the Linux operating system. It's where all the device drivers are loaded up. Device drivers like your drivers for your sound cards, your video cards, and so on. Now, one of the reasons Windows and Mac OS to a lesser extent are slow is because they're loading up tons and tons of device drivers because they got to account for all kinds of different video cards, all kinds of different sound cards, and so on and so forth and so on. So this slows down the whole system. Now, of course, these days CPUs are so fast, it's hard to see much of a difference. But let's roll back the clock a few years where I had a computer where it was just too slow for Windows. A new version of Windows had come out and the processor just couldn't handle it. It was just too slow. It became pretty much unusable. So a good friend of mine who was a Linux uh, expert gives me a call and says, hey, let's go come over and we'll recompile a, dis a, distri a distribution and uh, we'll breathe new life back into your computer. So anyway, so I was co-piloting the situation and what we essentially did was to recompile from scratch the Linux distribution, that particular version of Linux. I forget what it was now. I forget I forget which distribution it was. But anyway, so we recompiled it from scratch, only loading the drivers for the particular pieces of hardware in that computer. So we're able to throw out all kinds of excess of all these drivers that were not needed. So the CPU didn't have to load them, etc. And so we did this. It was a bit of a job. It was kind of a, a nerd project one afternoon. And as a result, once we had this done, we compiled the, the kernel, reinstalled the Linux. This new machine, well, this machine rather, which could not really be used as a computer with Windows. It was just too slow. It became super fast all of a sudden. Like things just boom, 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 boom. Super fast. Windows opening, closing, apps launching. It was crazy. It's like it's like it's like I put in a CPU was five times faster. Now, I did a test. Interestingly enough, I did math test before and after where I would calculate how fast we could run certain processes in Java on this machine, and it stayed the same speed in that regards. Right, you could see the speed at which it was doing its calculations. But in terms of the windowing and the day-to-day -day use of the operating system, because we recompiled and because it was, it was so thin and light, it really moved so much more quickly. Now, I can't say whether or not this type of recompiling uh, the kernel and uh, hyper configuration or hyper precise configuration would have much of an impact these days because CPUs are so bloody fast now. But it's an interesting story. It's, it helps you to understand why operating systems become so big and why things slow down. That's why you need faster and faster machines. It's because the software, because developers are, are having operating systems load in libraries that it may need because a lot of people, if they plug in something and the driver's not there, it doesn't work. It's like, ah, you know, I don't want to have to download drivers. So that's the cost of having these computers that are plug and play and everything works just fine because they, everything is preloaded, if you will. And I think that's why Apple computer, Mac computers, and Mac OS is a little zippier overall and more refined because Apple, since they don't allow any OEM to produce computers that run Mac OS, Mac OS can be much more tightly configured, if you will, to the limited hardware that Apple uses. Basically, Apple knows what video cards are going to be used, what handful of video cards are going to be used, what handful of whatever, you know, display drivers, this kind of stuff. It knows exactly what's going to be there, so it uh, is able to provide a much more efficient operating system as a result. That's the challenge that Windows has because it's got to adapt to all kinds of different types of computers. That's pretty much it. A little nerd vlog for you guys. Ciao.